How to choose coffee for healthy benefits. If you want to drink your coffee with milk, choose a blend. If black coffee is your thing, choose a single origin. With a blended coffee, most of the time, specific single origins have been chosen to use in that blend that create a complex and balanced espresso while still having a milk-based beverage in mind. The coffees have been carefully selected to provide increased body, some delicious brown sugaring flavors, or to simply add some floral complexity in order to help balance the espresso. For more awesome information on this check out this article, blends, more than the sum of their parts. A single origin coffee is from a single known geographic location, such as a farm or estate. This allows the coffee drinker to appreciate the specific nuance that a particular growing region provides. So if you are a black coffee drinker you will be more likely to perceive and enjoy this subtlety of flavor easier without milk masking it. Having said all that, can a single origin work well in milk? Absolutely. Can a blend work as a black? You're darn tootin. It all depends what single origins are being used. Let's read on. Growing conditions and economic factors vary greatly across the planet and so it's no surprise that coffee grown in one country will be different from the next. Wine drinkers have a long-held appreciation for this phenomena. Having come to expect to see specific flavor and aroma characteristics from a French wine that may be clearly distinctive from an Italian or something grown in Australia. Coffee prefers to grow in the warmer latitudes between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. This band of latitudes is often referred to as the coffee belt. Within this band a vast array of variables exist including altitude, rainfall, soil conditions and sunlight, all of which will alter the outcome of how your coffee will taste. So how do I narrow this huge offering down to what I might like best? If you seeking fruit driven flavors and floral aromas, starting with African coffees is a great option. Many coffee drinkers swoon at the thought of excitedly opening up a bag of Ethiopian bins to deeply inhale the complex berry and wine like aromas. Or salivate at the thought of slurping on a juicy stone fruit influenced coffee from Kenya. South and Central American coffee might be your thing if you are looking for clean coffees exhibiting delicate sugar browning sweetness, like chocolate or buttery pastry, accompanied with a softer fruit character. As most of the world's coffee production hails from this area, it's highly likely that you will find a winner here. Brazil is well known for producing coffees with a heavier body and peanut character. While further north in Colombia these flavors are mellowed and typically present more so as caramels and toffees. Sounds delicious. Do I even need to look elsewhere? Perhaps if you prefer a coffee to be heavier bodied and earthy, selecting from the India and Indonesian region is for you. Often exhibiting a luscious and syrupy body combined with herbal and savory flavors. These tend to be the most dividing in personal preference and definitely sit in the love or hate bracket. Varietals Since coffee is a fruit, apples are always one of the best examples to give as to why varietal plays a part in terms of preference. Most people like apples, is there anyone who doesn't? That's a safe bet. But preferences are wildly different when selecting the varietal of apple. A Fuji, golden delicious, pink lady or my favorite the jazz, will often result in a strong difference of opinion as to which is best, the answer is jazz. Common coffee varietals are bourbon, Tipica and Katara. While many countries will tend to favor growing a particular varietal, it's not uncommon to see some varietals transplanted into different growing regions. The geisha varietal is one of the most sought after on the planet. Its saturated sweetness, Clarity and vibrant flavors can range anywhere from darks berries to mangoes or even peaches. Geisha coffees will usually come with the appropriate price tag. But if you have a coffee lover in your life who needs a gift, this is a no-brainer. Processing When selecting a coffee you will note that often its processing method is communicated. This will usually be via a simple washed or natural, unwashed, on the coffee menu or bag. This is worth noting as you will get a distinctively different coffee experience because of these factors, 
even when it's the same coffee. A washed coffee, or wet processed, has had the outer pulp of the cherry removed, then placed in fermentation tanks before being washed and placed. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Check the description below and thank you so much for watching.